Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 22nd going to the 28th of May. So let's dive straight into it and see what's going on for you. The initial D is coming through, maybe an R as well. My heart felt something there when that came up. Don't know if that was anxiety or... Something to do with your heart chakra. And one more please. For Sagittarius, mm. okay, I do sense jealousy around you, I don't need to go to the mic, I understand that sometimes it's habit, let me just clarify this energy, very interesting, Okay, so there's a few messages that are coming out here. This is actually quite a bit, so it wouldn't surprise me. I'm going to try and make this as direct as possible, but I am picking up on some jealousy, maybe some criticism that you might be facing around you here, Sagittarius, because one of your first cards that came up was a page of swords. This is not always about that, but I am picking up on it. Um, so just be aware of the people that may be around you, that may be, you know, speaking of you or speaking about you or maybe saying some things to you that are kind of like backhanded compliments or like, little remarks just be aware of that i kind of am picking up on some energy though that this person is being clarified by the knight of cups so kill him with kindness is the energy I'm, I'm picking up on if that's to do with you but this jealous energy this is someone that may actually have some emotion towards you but is unable to show that because this knight of cups is someone that does hold some emotion so regardless of who this person is it does feel like there is some admiration towards you, but maybe because of their jealousy, you know, I mean, to be jealous, you have to want what somebody has. And I, I feel like this is where it's coming from. So just to let you know, there is something about you that somebody is inspired by. There is emotion towards it. There is some kind of like adoration is the word they're coming to mind, admiration. But it feels like some people are just instead want to criticize rather than actually say their true feelings just be aware of that because also with that knight of cups was the four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck which is again someone kind of withholding how they really feel and is only really able to say small remarks i don't know just pay attention to what people are saying here because it can actually really expose what they really feel like deep down and sagittarius i really kind of believe because this page of swords if we had to flip it into your way too you might be able to see through what people are saying so um you were quite good at spotting people's characters sagittarius with this page of swords being in your energy also because i like to read it that way I, I always i always feel like everything is a reflection um and i believe that with the page of swords this might be triggering to you okay but i i want to say here don't allow this to affect your work don't allow this to affect what it is that you're working towards whether that's a certain goal okay whether people are criticizing the goals that you have the work that you're doing just pay attention it's kind of like just defend yourself there's no need to bite back um but to analyze and to understand and to maybe use this to your advantage in some way you know sometimes for me when people criticize me because i know it doesn't mean what this okay like how can i rephrase this when people are criticizing me i know it's nothing wrong with me you know i can take valid criticism but when i know that it's coming from their triggers and projection then i don't allow it to project onto me i don't allow it to change my view of myself and this is a big message for you guys is to understand that you can use that to empower yourself okay this person is clearly jealous of me this person is clearly you know upset with me because i'm doing well or whatever it is in your case um so that's a good thing you know and take it as kind of manipulate the situation and to understand well it's not even manipulate try to see a different way about it um try to see it from a deeper understanding because as much as this is an air element card it does bring me scorpio vibes which is really deep core stuff so similar to the message that we were saying and that i was picking up on is that you can really see through the core of what people are saying at this time and what their true intentions are so um if it's jealousy because secretly they actually really like what it is that you the skills that you have and they wish that they had it then clearly that's a good thing <laughs> but they're just projecting it in a very bad way don't allow that to affect you okay very big 
way of saying it but hey that's what i wanted to say to you guys so you have the seven of pentacles so you guys are working really hard sometimes this can get a bit boring or you know uh, it can get a little bit tiring because it's taking so long and sometimes we can question ourselves about you know is this really worth it but again this page of swords looks like it's protecting the seven of pentacles so one thing i really want to say is just keep doing what it is that you're doing keep feeding into those dreams and goals that you want to do whether it's a routine whether it's just sticking to a mundane um schedule or you know sometimes it can be very boring you know if you have to do you may not always want to do it but the seven of pentacles is saying that you're making progress so don't worry about it um they're showing me a deck that I have. I don't know. I think it's the Light Seers of the Seven of Pentacles, which is just because on the surface it doesn't look like much is changing or much is, you know, working from the effort that you're putting into it. But underneath where you can see all the roots, that's where things are really changing and you're really grounding the things that you're doing. So I'm hearing repetition and consistency is going to be important for you within this week. Um, whether it's mantras and affirmations and it's deep inner work that you're doing or whether it's actually to do with a physical project, actual work, or whether it's your finances, whatever it is you're trying to improve because the goal is the Ten of Pentacles, so stability, longevity, and abundance. All right. Um, let's keep going. Keep growing it, all right? Because it may not look like much is changing, but I promise you on a deeper level it is. You're just grounding, stabilizing what it is that you're doing. And for some of you, this, this can kind of represent the subconscious mind. So if you're doing affirmations or if you're doing the, you know, uh, inner work, it may not look like a lot is changing on a surface or in your day-to-day -day routine. But what you can't see is that you're really grounding um, and stabilizing certain beliefs that you're, you know, that you are working to change and to make better or whatever it is. So I'm seeing that there is improvement, but you may not be able, to, whoa, you may not be able to see it. Like I'm talking as if I'm a broken, like not broken record, because that means you're repeating it, right? But like, there's like, as if is cutting out. Yeah. Anyway, you're the two of cups coming through. So this is really good when it comes down to connections with people. For some of you, you could be working on something with somebody or, um, you could have a good connection with somebody else. And this is what's being criticized or this is what people are jealous about. For some of you, you could be in a relationship with somebody and there is somebody else outside of this who is only jealous of you because they have some feelings towards what it is that you have. If it's a person, then it could be that, okay? Or maybe they're jealous of the person that you're with because they're with you, you know? It's just this energy that there could be some jealousy around your relationship, your connection with people. If you're having fun or having a good time with someone, somebody is just jealous, all right? And they don't have a very good way of explaining themselves or how they feel. Clarify this two of cups for me, please. You're the magician. So for some of you, it's on a relationship that you're trying to manifest, or it could be some sort of business partnership, whatever it is. Two of cups is a soulmate, but this card actually does come through when you're about to meet somebody who you're supposed to meet for a specific reason. This could be a business project. This could be someone who can help you with accounting. I don't know. Like I actually see this card come up when you're meeting a person who can really help you and who you can connect with. Okay, so the magician coming through as well. This could be something that you're trying to manifest. Or it could be a project that you both are trying to bring to life or whatever. Um, the magician is a really good card for you being able to manifest something. So don't allow other people around you to make you feel like you're not doing anything right. Okay, this is not true. That is just a projection that is maybe their own magician self coming out of. They like to manipulate situations so that they can have some sort of control over people and over so they can feel better about themselves. In your oracle decks, let's speak about it because I'm actually going to clarify these separately. We have time to go, which is about leaving situations behind. I am picking up on a bit of judgment um, vibes with that card because it's kind of like the in-between stages. I'm, I kind of see this as this person has already closed the door. Now they're running to the other one. Um, so you've already closed the door. You will be closing a door and you're ready to go to a new one. It could be a new work, new, you know, whatever. <laughs> Let me just clarify what this is. Time to go. We And one more, please. So Sagittarius, you guys are showing up as the Queen of Wands, which is very lovely. This is a very attractive, compassionate energy. So uh, for a lot of you, you are kind of stepping into this happiness 
Ten of Cups here as well. By the way, you guys are really going to find, or maybe you've already been offered something with a much better community. But I can see that coming up. Like you're gonna get something very happy. That email is confirmation, by the way. But I am gonna mute it. But it always comes through as confirmation. So there we go. You're kind of leaving things behind that are just making you unhappy. I, I think you do have this higher understanding though this week. You're coming across as like this very wise soul, like very deep understanding, a very evolved, like you have a lot of wisdom, you have a lot of understanding now, like maybe in the past it would trigger you, or maybe you still do get triggered, but you're able to kind of counteract that trigger with this higher voice, like that's what I'm picking up on, but anyway, Queen of Wands is you feeling more confident, this is you feeling maybe more flirtatious with opportunities, feeling more optimistic about certain things, but specifically having that confidence within yourself to be open and to try new things and to you know, when it comes down to people, I can see you making a lot of people very happy and working with really good people, but it does come with leaving something behind. So whether it is your own self that's been blocking you, whether it is listening to other people's opinions of you and allowing those thoughts to go through your head, um, I do believe that you're fixing some sort of self-esteem issue that you may have had or some pessimism that you may have had towards your life. So it's time to go as you're walking away from old stories, um, your old chapter of your life and into this new one. So that judgment vibe that I was picking up on is kind of like an end of a chapter, beginning of a new one. And you're really having that understanding and wisdom to elevate, you know, to really learn the lesson. You then have happy, happy coming through, which is being clarified by the empress so you have a lot of divine feminine coming through for you guys within this week which is amazing because to me this is really about loving the flow of life i don't think you're forcing anything i do see you coming up with creative ideas and pursuing it but it's not in a sense of like forcing anything or chasing anything out of um need even though we might be tempted to do that like you're really kind of just embracing the flow that the universe is pushing you in. So happy, happy coming through is this beautiful, abundant energy. I do believe you're gonna feel very, very good about yourself. Uh, you're not, again, you're not gonna be chasing anything. You're just really accepting and attracting in opportunities. The happy, happy card is not only just the feeling that you're gonna feel this week, um, but this is just feeling more connected to the universe and feeling at this very high level, uh, which is what the Empress is also about. So you're really in this high energy, I like it. High frequencies, which is what's gonna help you to attract in new things um we then have new life so this is you you're rebirthing yourself you are uh, creating this new you this is a glow up energy okay could be a new career that leads you to this place we have the moon and we have this knight of swords so this is very interesting with a new life we do have this like moon and knight of swords energy which again can be like I feel like this is what you're moving away from is instead of taking charge and defending yourself and defending what you know it's kind of like what's the threat like the threat you you are so used to having a lot of threats around you or like things threatening your um your goals because the emperor is building the empire nine of wands very defensive about it it's very you know you know it defends its post is what i feel like it is mars you know it's got all that energy and aggression um it doesn't have to be like angry aggression but it's you know when you're pursuing something you have to be aggressive and determined you're kind of moving away from that like i don't i think you're no longer like reacting based on triggers or reacting based on some deeper emotions i think you're understanding them a lot better so this new life coming through is you're no longer allowing the emotions to to rule you like to rule you to weigh you down the knight of swords kind of feels like a very quick like truth to whatever may be a, a an illusion because the moon can bring that sometimes our emotions can be so heavy and because of based on your experiences and maybe some things that you felt in the past or you may have the old beliefs coming back and this is you kind of addressing it very quickly so this new life is very lovely we then have never-ending story though so just pay attention let's clarify this when it comes down to your work again i feel like this is what it's talking about when it comes down to maybe when am i going to get that kind of money or when am i going to finally get that promotion or when am i going to finally be in a career that i enjoy or there's something that you're waiting for with this with, with this card it does feel like it's to do with your finances or your work here or again that ten of pentacles whatever we were stating in the beginning with that seven of pentacles it kind of feels like that to me because 
just be, pay attention to this, all right? Because we can disturb our own flow and our own confidence in this beautiful energy that we've been seeing of this bringing new life to yourself and feeling all energetic and flirtatious with life and with the universe. This can be a bit of a blockage because when we start to go like, oh, like I am doing all this and nothing's happening, again, pay attention to that because you're going to drain your own energy by focusing on something that you cannot control. When the timing of something is going to happen or how it's going to happen or if you're waiting for answers, sometimes they just don't come. Sometimes what comes instead is the result, you know, and then you start to understand. So with the seven, with the eight of pentacles and the two, remember, this is going to that ten. Eight of Pentacles is saying to focus on your craft. I do see that there, you might be balancing certain things or maybe there is going to be uh, a choice to make moving forward, which is going to accelerate you towards that 10. Um, so just, I feel like this is your focus. Eight of Pentacles, build in your skills, get good at what you do, build a good routine to help you enjoy it a little bit more, okay? What that is, you know, uh, adapted to you. And this Two of Pentacles is a choice that's kind of out of your control that is going to come in. So... Uh, don't worry, don't fret, don't panic. It does feel like the universe has got your back with this, but you have to believe that too and not panic when um, the timing of something is not what you expected it to be, okay? Let's get you a keyword for the week. For Sagittarius, please. Adversity. And I think you guys know this word very well. This says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And sometimes those are the things that strengthen us. And again, um, I kind of feel like, again, it's kind of hinting at the seven of pentacles. It is a major card for you guys within this reading because uh, it keeps coming up in my head. It does have a big significance. Um, seven of pentacles is adversity. It's kind of having to harvest something or having to wait to harvest something, but still having to do the work. Nurturing something can be very tough when we're having to show up all the time for it or put a lot of effort into it. That is the adversity that I think that you guys are facing. And Sagittarius, you guys are known for um, wanting to jump around a lot of it and not being able to ground yourself when it comes down to seeing results you know you're always ready for the next project without finishing the last and maybe this is a big lesson you guys are learning um but whatever it is to you whatever the adversity is this mantra here this affirmation is saying that i accept that challenges are the best way to learn and sometimes it's a good way of saying it because instead of going when is this going to be over i'm so sick and tired of this you know um Maybe going, actually, I know that this is bettering me, even though it's tough, even though it requires a lot of strength and a lot of effort. I know that this is going to be very rewarding for me in, in the future with lessons uh, that are going to stay with me and with results that are going to stay with me too, okay? I don't know if any of you are going through some sort of Saturn return, but that is coming up. Like, it's very Saturn vibes, you know, where we learn major lessons. Um, it could be with your finances, anyways you guys are gonna excel don't you worry so we have a lobster coming through your first card which is financial pinch okay the next one that came through was torch spiritual development enlightenment awareness and understanding we then have camel okay persevere and you will overcome problems throne position of authority so a lot of you are going to work your way up new job career this did come through though with reconciliation Either you're reconciling with someone or maybe you're going to go back to a company that you really enjoyed or maybe they're going to open some space for you or reconciliation. I'll let you guys um, apply that as you wish. Maybe you'll know or find out within this week, okay? Because they did come up together and usually when they come up together, they have a joint message. So new job, career, reconciliation. Alrighty, Sagittarius, well, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I'm sending you my love for the week. Thank you so much for being here with me today and for listening this far in. I, um, I really hope you enjoyed it. But if you would like to subscribe, make sure you do that. There is a notification bell as well so you can be notified when I upload for those who uh, might be missing out on new uploads. Um, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time.